Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, I'm the master taste of whiskey.com and today we have a brand new bottling of Kalila here in my cask. It's from Signatory Vintage. It's a nine year old from Hogsheads, probably refill Hogsheads because it's so light. And it's from the Unchill Filtered Collection. It's of course uncolored and it is a mixture of two Hogsheads. 322,298 and 299. The number of bottles turned out of those two casts of 468 and it's nine years old, it was distilled on December 19th, 2007 and put in the bottle on February 2nd, 2017. So this one is nine years old. Um, it's 46%, so quite strong and uh, it's quite light. Uh, and what is the specialty at Kalila? Well, they produce for the blended whiskey industry a lot. They are part of Diageo with its Johnny Walker and J&B brands, and they ask for a very lot of peated whiskey. And Kalila is one of the distilleries providing a very lot for uh, those blends. And uh, fortunately, um, there are more or whiskies from Kalila available at independent bottlers. So they started uh, selling cask, I think, from the 2007 on. So this might be one of the first uh, released to independent bottlers <clears throat> after the shortage. Yeah. very smoky so the smoke is brought into the whiskey by drying the malt over peat fire there is the malting of port allen close to kalila not too far away um half across the island but really not far away and uh, this port allen maltings are uh, delivers malt to the specification and Kalila has a high spe specification of uh, well phenols in the malt for the production. This is definitely smellable but it's not sharp, it's not rush. It's an aromatic pleasant smokiness. I do not like these very extreme stinky whiskies and this one is a lot more pleasant. And below the peatiness is citrus note, lemon, a lemon citrus note. And there's not much of vanilla or caramel present because those hogsheads were probably or most probably refill hogsheads. So most of the content of vanilla and caramel is was sucked out by the whiskey which lay before in those hawks heads. The smoke is definitely the main smell, but the others come through quite fast. It's still light, no hefty tones beneath. Hmm. Now there's sweetness, a lot of sweetness, and the citrus note turns to, to tangerine, clementine, juice oranges, wonderful. And a little spiciness from the oak shines through, but everything is very harmonic, well bound, no extreme edges, very sipping whiskey. You have to be very, very careful with this one because it's it's demanding. The aftertaste, no chocolate, no bitterness in the aftertaste, just a pleasant, weak spiciness from the cask fading away really fast 
and there is this smokiness covering the inside of my mouth yeah so this one is mature mature enough for not showing this extreme youthness but still young enough to show the pitiness the strong pitiness and everything is really well bound so this is a really really good one even being that light in color meaning that there's not much from the cask but it's still enough from the cast to give it a harmonic feeling in your mouth. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come and probably more Kalila, more Signatory Vintage. Thank you very much.